Nah, I'm just joking. This is yam. We're going to be talking about the power of the yam. And yes, fellas, it will help, right? It will help with your personal health. All right. So make sure you check out the journey. where we take time to salute our ancestors right now. I got two glasses. One of my old favorites, right? Not quite crystal, but nice thick glass. And then we got the new glass, as you see. Right, we're going to drink the water out of the new glass. And I got this glass because I want you to see the, the ambrosia I got. Uh -huh. We might not need to break out that purified water. So y'all know the rules. First thing is take yourself some water. Let's get it. this water thing. I see you. I see you, Miss Sheila. Alright. Now, until I start really drinking water like this, I never noticed water, different waters do have different tastes. I never really paid attention to water. You know, I'm so busy drinking pop and stuff. Shouts out to whoever's out there. Uh, make sure you throw your ancestors up so we can go and salute them. But first, get your water. Water up. Stay hydrated. Mm. Yes, it is a great meal. Ah. I didn't realize how big this little glass is. I drink up a lot of water in this glass. All right. Mm. Giami Journey, the only place where you could spend two minutes drinking water live on camera. Great meal. We're about to toast our ancestors. But first, we want to welcome to the family batch of ambrosia now it's been kind of hot so i left it down for a couple of days right this form of kombucha what they call kombucha is june actually um regular kombuchas take between five and seven days that's black tea 
black tea and sugar. This is green tea and honey. It only takes three to five days, but because of the variations in the temperature and the weather, I'll let it sit down a little bit longer. Let's see how I did. Mm. Pour is good. Now see? It smells. I smell a little bit of tea in there. I smell a little bit of honey. I think the brewing process was going on, though. Mm. Color ain't that different from tea, so I don't know, y'all. All right. I'll let y'all know when I taste it. This will be the first time I'm tasting this batch. And this is only out of one out of one bucket, right? So so here we go. First we call them creative. By whatever name you choose to call it creative, we call it great force into our life. We call it energy upon us. We call it from within us to touch everything around us. We say, I say. From there we move to our ancestors our personal ancestors we call on those grandmothers and grandfathers those aunts and those uncles those cousins and old friends those loved ones who have moved beyond our understanding um and have made their transition so we toast them we lift them up in our hearts and in our minds sometimes we call their names sometimes we don't but the energy and the love is there and we send that energy and that love out to our personal ancestors and we say I say, we move on to this present moment. Today is Nia. We salute this mighty and powerful day. This is one of my favorite principles. Nia, 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 Nia. Purpose. We toast it and we say, I say, we're going to make it work for us today. Are we not? We're going to live today on purpose. Are we not? We toast and we say, I say, we toast our children. Our children's children on to affinity. And. We understand everything we do, think, say, and do affects our generate our children up until seven generation. And us being generational people know that we come back through the same bloodline. So we must leave it better than when we found it. All right. So we toast and we say, I say. Last but not least, I salute eating each and every last one of you out there. And I wish you all the blessings that you need. And we call the ancestors to go before you to make the way. Just a little bit smoother, not easier, but just a little bit smoother because it's the struggle that brings the beast out of us, right? It's the struggle that brings the best out of us, right? It's the struggle that brings the master out of us, right? So we want to experience the struggle. We want to experience some of the hard times because those hard times are the times that make us, right? So we toast and we say, I say, I say. I say. Uh, once again, I got the camera on the wrong side. I say. Here we go, y'all. A little bit tart. Process is starting. I'm gonna have to leave it down there another day. I'm gonna check the next batch. Um, today for those that like young ambrosia this is it but this is not this is not this is not my taste I mean it's good don't get me wrong because I'm gonna finish this I'm gonna finish this but the process has started I still taste I still taste the honey but I know it's I know it's popping off. I know it's popping off. Now, let me show you what I'm about to do.
So, <clears throat> to help this batch out a little bit, and see where we can get it. See, because now, when you brew, you brew almost open air. You put a cloth over it to keep bugs and dust out of it. But it's basically open air. The next step in the process is sealing it off. As they call it, hermetically sealing it. Right? Those that have been paying attention, that's on the, um, the Guza Saba challenge, you heard the word hermetic because one of the laws that we use for the Guza Saba is the hermetic laws of the universe, right? So we're going to hermetically seal some of this ambrosia up to see if we can help the process along just a little bit. I'm about to drink the rest of this up. This is uh I'm gonna take one of these to work with me and see if I get the nice little pop off. And we'll have a nice little one for tomorrow. Unless my wife get to it first. For me, I want to thank those who joined us on Facebook. Um, I want to thank those who are checking us out on Black Spot as well. Um, and I'm going to say have a great day to y'all on Facebook. Peace. I'm out. Alright, fam. Whoa. It's getting kind of feisty. All right. Mm. All right. Ooh. Okay. Okay. All right. It's coming alive right now, fam. All right. So. All right. So y'all know that the day is near. We got purpose balance, rhythm, male name is Kofi, female name is Afua, good morning Afua, alright, so now, Mitic Law Balance, Hermetic Law, or Hermetic, Mitic Principle is Balance, Hermetic Law is Rhythm, alright, so, today we're going to be talking about The yam, right? So, now, I want to say, I want to stress this. I'm focusing on the breath, but we're going to look at some um, food food items because um, part of the Saba Challenge is exploring the African heritage diet, right? I send, I send information out to everybody that, that signed up for it. But we want to look at the power of the yam. This is an African yam. All right. This one particularly is known as the Ghanaian yam. Of course, those that know me, my wife is from Ghana. Right? That is a phallic symbol if I have ever saw one. So, in in symbolic terms, you know what I'm saying? When you want to strengthen something, you find something in nature that looks like it, that is edible, and you consume it. So, ladies, get your man some yam. So that he get his yam, yamming. All right, look at that. All right, now we're gonna look at some of the health benefits of the yam. I just wanted y'all to see one. Now I had to kind of rush this one because my wife bought the yam, and she don't believe in letting these sit around. Right now, when I first tasted the yam, I wasn't too excited about it because it looked like, you know, what I'm saying in America, this is not. The, it don't taste like the yams we got here, right? This yam is, it sort of remind me of tofu. 
I don't know if you if you ever had to, tofu, you will understand my description, right? Tofu is is tasteless. It's tasteless. You could put it with almost anything, and and it acts as a filler, sort of like rice too. You know what I'm saying? Because it's not it's not a strong. It, it don't have a strong taste, but it 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 takes up space and it it fills you up, right? So. I just wanted y'all to see it, how it looks. Um, now, one of the ways my wife boils it, um, I have seen her fry pieces of it. Um, I experimented with it last time when I when I showed you the last piece. Um, I skinned it and I stinked it and it worked. Um, uh, nice. We gonna we gonna we gonna do a little bit of reading about it. All right. So I just wanted y'all to look at the yam. So I'm gonna lay the yam down. Don't be moving around, yeah. All right. And I know y'all like, what this got to do with purpose, brother Hot Tim? Well, well, let me just say this, right? Every day I'm not going to come with just the principle. I'm going to come with stuff that we could use to make our lives better, right? That's the goal. That's the goal with the Goose Cyber Challenge. And that's the goal for me. I want to make our life better. So let's look at this yam. Yams are carbohydrate rich. Of course, we know this, right? It's a tuber, vegetable, West African orange. Botanically, it belongs to the family Diosocrea and the genus Diosocrea. There exist several hundred cultivators of Diosera. However, only a few of them worth Worth of worthy of commercial importance. Traditional yam tuber types grown are um, Dosaria rotundata. Um, we don't need all that, right? Y'all don't need all that. Y'all can find that yourself. That getting into the Latin terms, stuff like. Besides their use as food, yams have long been symbolically associated with the culture and ritualism in some parts of Africa, Asia, and Latin America. Now. First, one of the first things I want to stress is that this tuber is a staple. This right here in African culture has been a staple, which means it's something that holds the culture in place. And y'all know I'm big on culture. Why does something like this hold culture in place? Because look at how much you get when you take the time to cultivate this, right? This is one of the things that life rotated around. They have festivals about this thing here, right? This thing feeds people. This holds the culture together. This gives people purpose when they rise up in the morning to make sure that their yam heaps are doing what they're supposed to be doing and get people get up and they work. And we're blessed here in America because we don't have to really worry about that. I just go to the store and I can pick this up. But this right here held people's lives together for a long time, right? So when we take this, because I know a lot of y'all, like, I'm not trying to do the carbs and stuff like that, right? Now, the issue is we got to balance out what we eat. Now, I'm not just saying go and eat this by itself. What I'm saying is make sure you got the other stuff to balance it out, right? Because when you embrace this, you embrace part of your, the ancient part of your culture. All right. Yam plants. Yam plant is a, uh, a perennial vine cultivated for its large edible underground tuber, which can reach up to 120 pounds in weight and two meters in length. They are one of the conventional tropical crops requiring hot, humid climates and may cease to grow when the temperature dips below 68 degrees. So not only is it big, it's picky, right? All right, yams are similar in appearance to sweet potatoes. However, they are not at all related to it. Uh-oh, y'all hear that? It's not related to the sweet potato. Some major differences that set them apart from sweet potato, yams are mono, monocotyledons, large in size, Features thick, rough, dark brown, 
um, to pink skin depending upon the cultivator type where sweet potatoes are relatively smaller size and possess thin peel although yams are grown all over Africa all over the African continent Nigeria is the world's largest producer and exporter uh, accounting for 70 percent of the total global production so this is a global crop so not only when you purchase this are you supporting part of your ancient culture you're supporting the African country all right health benefits this is what we want to get to yam is a good source of energy a hundred a hundred grams provides 118 calories it's crunchy edible root cheaply composed of complex carbohydrates and soluble dietary fiber now a major reason that I want you to look at this is one carbs we know carbs trans you know the body transfers that to energy it goes straight and turns it into something to burn and glucose it turns into glucose I think and but it's a soluble dietary fiber right so we know this is help this will help push some of that stuff up out of us um, dietary fiber help reduce constipation decrease bad LDLs um, cholesterol levels by binding to it in the intestines and lower and lower colon risk by preventing toxic compounds in the food from adhering to the colon um, mucosa. Additionally, being a good source of complex carbohydrate, it regulates steady a steady rise in blood sugar levels. For the same reason, yams um, recommended as a low glycemic index healthy food. All right. Fresh fruit also contains good amounts of antioxidant vitamins, especially vitamin C, providing about 29% of the recommended level per 100 grams. Vitamin C plays some important roles in anti-aging, immune functions, um, immune function booster, wound healing, and bone growth. All right? Yam contains a small amount of vitamin A, um, beta carotene levels. Carotenes convert into vitamin A inside the body. Both these compounds are powerful antioxidants. Vitamin A has many functions like maintaining healthy mucosa and skin, night vision, growth and protection from lungs and oral cavity cancers. Oh, this helps prevent cancer. I mean, cancer help you know help in the fight. Further, the tuber need the amount. Further, the tuber indeed is one of the good sources of minerals such as copper, calcium, potassium, iron, manganese, uh, manganese, phosphorus. 100 grams provide about 816 micrograms of potassium. Potassium is an important component of cell and body fluids which help controlling heart rate and blood pressure. Now, heart rate, blood pressure. That has to do with us. It helps us with this broke thing by countering hypertensive effects of sodium. Copper is essential for the production of red blood cells. The body uses mag manganese as a cofactor for antioxidant enzyme. Superoxide dismutase. Um, iron is required for uh, red blood cell formation. All right, so you can look you can look up the yam, and they got even how to prepare it and how to cook it, what to cook it with. We won't get all into that, but I wanted you to hear some of the health benefits of the yam, right? So you can skin, take the rough skin off, you can boil it, and you try fried. I personally didn't like it fried. Um, you know, but I was expecting something else. You know, I ran in there thinking it was gonna taste like a potato. It don't taste like a potato. It don't it don't have that type of taste. Um, but you could use this as a supplement um, to uh, to other meals to add a little uh, substance to other meals, like um, um, so like a filler, right? So this thing right here helped us survive on a continent and it'll help you survive in America 
right? Look at that, man. Look at that. All right, so uh, maybe I'll show some dishes uh, that I make from it, right? You know, or, you know, because all you do is put it, I, I put it on the side. Um, you could use it, like, you know, um, once you make the red sauce using the palm oil, I could do it and use it, you know, to take it and just eat it with palm oil. You know what I'm saying? You use it as like a quick, hot snack. You know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna even just say quick, but you gonna boil it or you gonna steam it, and you just do it with that. Throw a little bit of salt on it, a little bit of pepper, throw some spices on it, and just sit up there and munch on it. It's good for you. All right. So this been this brother Hot Tim. We had to take a sidebar and do something on the African diet because my wife want. I'm holding her progress up. We don't want to hold her progress up. We want her to go and get the yam together, right? And we're going to root her on in yam consumption. And I'm going to use some of this and take it for my lunch next week. All right. This is Brother I Tim. And guess what, y'all? We up under 30 minutes. Finally did it one time, right? So, you've seen some of the powers of the yam, right? Go on, experiment. Now, don't forget to take your supplements if you got them. Got my black seed oil. Coconut. Red palm. We about to get busy up in the Gianni household. Alright? So with that, I wish you peace, power, joy, and 100 years. Follow your routine, y'all. Peace. Thank you for watching the video. I want you to subscribe. Click the bird right there. The fiery bird. And I also have a special video just for you. Right there. And for those that want more information about Jamie Journey, go to our site. It should be right about there. Peace.